What is up, Moonbreaker fans, and boy, do we have some news today. Moonbreaker is an early access miniature game where you can paint your own models and also play a tabletop strategy game, and uh, it's really incredible. I've done a couple videos on my channel about it, but it came off with uh, quite a few, you know, just complaints from the community. Um, it's a $30 game in early access, but they had a few different types of currencies. They had some microtransactions that were essentially purely cosmetic, but some things just were not felt super well by the community. And, you know, the community had responded a lot, and this game just launched about a month ago, almost exactly. Well, already, one patch in, now, this is just literally one month of the game being in early access. They are completely overhauling the uh, the entire economy of the game. I've never seen a game react this quickly for anything, really, let alone completely overhauling a an economy. I mean, you know, you can see some hot fixes getting pushed out in things like, uh, you know, Legends of Runeterra and other card games I've played, but normally it's a little bit delayed. But a change such so drastic as to completely change the function of the economy of a game to be done within one month uh, probably even less than that and to be implemented immediately is incredible so kudos to the devs i'm going to go through what the changes are if you bought the game what happens now if you bought the founders edition what happens now etc so essentially uh, i will have a full breakdown right now of this as well as a link to the article in the description of this video this also came with a full patch, which I'll save for a separate video, which is changing the gameplay on top of just changing the economy. It is truly an overhaul in a lot of the gameplay as well. Spoil, uh, you know, a little teaser for that. They completely redid the card draw system and removed it. So now it will function like a true tabletop miniatures game instead of having any card game type aspect to it. So this is a crazy insane patch. I've never seen a patch this big one month into a game's life. Um, but this video will be about the uh, currency breakdown. So the business model changes that are coming and that have now released. So earlier they had removed the cargo run contracts and there's a link to that and I've also made a video on that. So cargo run is a roguelike mode in this game and uh, it is to be played uh, freely now for as long as you want. They did that as a hotfix uh, update real quick, but this is more a full patch. But here are the main points uh, through this economy breakdown. Pulsars, which were the hard currency in the game, which you could buy with uh, cash or if you got some extra from the Founders Edition, etc., uh, they will no longer be available to purchase or exchange for in-game items during early access. So essentially, you can no longer buy an in-game currency because you don't need one anymore, which is awesome. Um, units were essentially unlocked almost immediately after playing the game for about an hour or two, but now all units will be unlocked automatically with the base game. A lot of people were just complaining that you didn't have all the units right away because you paid for the game, but truly you do had you did have most of the units almost automatically, but now you do have all the units automatically. As soon as you buy the base game, you unlock every single unit in the game. That also means no more booster boxes. So there's this kind of like booster box system where you would unlock new units which you kind of got really quickly, but you would also unlock the uh, skins, not skins, but um, kind of like these little prismatic effects for each of the units. So not really a skin, but just kind of like a little intro uh, effect, and, and they had a rarity. So they still have that rarity system, but it kind of works a little bit differently. But essentially, you will get all the units for free, and also all units added with each season will be unlocked automatically too. I think that's a huge thing that a lot of people haven't been talking about with this, and it's incredible. So essentially every time a new season comes, which is every few months, there will be a bunch of new units. They said around 25, which is a ton, because there's not that many units in the game to start, and they will all be automatically unlocked, including a captain. Awesome stuff there. Blanks and Merits were previously used as in-game currency. They are both being replaced with Sparks. So now Sparks is literally the only in-game currency. There is now one currency instead of three or four, including tickets and pulsars and merits. Now there are just Sparks. Sparks will be used currently to just upgrade a unit's rarity, but rarity is cosmetic only. This is the prismatic effects that I was talking about. So this is just kind of when you drop the unit into combat, it'll have a prismatic effect around it. That's what sparks will be used for and that is all the only possible uh currency in the game will be sparks now the in-game store is being disabled 
all Pulsar purchases will be automatically refunded via Steam. This is crazy. So essentially, if you did buy anything, if you bought, if you spent any money on the game outside of the base game, they're just automatically refunding you. No, you can't. They're not just going to keep your money. They're just immediately refunding you. It should be automatic. You should get it through Steam instantaneously. I think that's awesome. Now, if you bought the Founders Pack, the Pulsars that you got with the Founders Pack, there's a few other things as well, but you did get a, a little chunk of Pulsars. That is going to be replaced with a new Zax and Slopper skin. So it's essentially a new skin replacing the little bit of the Founders Pack. But if you really are not happy with that, you can just request a, a refund. I mean, it's incredible how generous they're being here with this. I think it's awesome. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, they, they need to be because of how they started. And yeah, but I've never seen a game react that quickly, which is awesome. Um, and now the season track progression will be faster and include some new and exciting cosmetic rewards. Uh, before, on the season track, there were things like pulsars and uh, merits and things like that. So since we don't need those anymore, they are updating the uh, season track with new cosmetic rewards, which is awesome. Um, and they will also, uh, you know, just have only sparks be the only currency still. So that's all gotten taken out of the season reward, as well as they've increased how much you gain uh, progression uh, pretty drastically. They've discussed that a few times now, which is great because it was a really slow burn to get your progression through the season track done. So I think that's great. So there's a lot of questions. They go through a little FAQ, but why are you removing monetization? Essentially, it's just they want to build a game alongside the community and focus to and focus on making the game as fun as possible. I mean, really, it's just like, hey, listen, we, we heard your feedback. We heard that you guys weren't happy with how the game was progressing, with how the, uh, the purchases, the monetization was. We didn't mean to appear greedy, but they did. So we're just going to take all of it out. I think that's awesome. Now they're going to focus on experimenting and improving the game. And the monetization in the form uh, in the form that it was was kind of affecting that goal. And it really was because people weren't even buying the game because they were so worried about the monetization. Now, I made a video disagreeing with that. I wasn't as worried about it, but it was a real thing. People were literally not buying this game because of that. And I've seen multiple people now just be like, yeah, well, now I'm ready to buy it because they did this. So... I think it's a great move. They're just going to focus on making the game the best they can before they even leave early access. And then eventually they can add monetization back in. If they want to sell cool paints, custom things, new skins, etc. as cosmetics, I think that's a great way to make a live game. And this is their first live game. This is the Subnautica devs. And it's their first like live game like this that they've discussed. Of They, they really want to make this content continuous. Well, they're really learning quickly because listening to feedback from the community is, is the best thing you can do for a live game. So they can reintroduce that later. I love that. Uh, if you've collected any blanks, what will happen? Well, your blanks are going to turn into sparks. Uh, they were previously called merits. Obviously, sparks can be used to upgrade your cosmetic levels, etc. of each unit. But again, that's just going to remain cosmetic in nature, which is great. Um, if you had any booster packs that you didn't open, what happens? Well... You're going to hear this a lot, but they are converted into sparks. So you'll just have, again, only one currency in the game. That'll happen. You'll automatically have every unit unlocked as soon as you open the game again, if you didn't previously. Um, what will happen to my current season track progress, and will it be affected by these changes? Uh, yes, it will. So any of the uh, old things on the um, actual track that were essentially boosters or spark or uh, merits or anything like that will you'll get replaced with the rewards that they discussed earlier and you'll automatically unlock those if you're past that level which is great um if you already earned all of that uh, if you bought any pulsars like i said you'll get a full refund you don't even have to do anything it should just be automatic and you should immediately get that refund back into your steam wallet which is awesome and if you want you can get a refund through steam for the founders pack um uh, they again the founders pack everything else is staying that you got in the founders pack i think there's paints and an astra skin that's all still fine and dandy just a little bit of pulsars that was in that pack which wasn't much at all i think it was only like 500 or so that's just getting replaced with a new skin so i doubt there's gonna be a whole lot of uh, refund requests for that but it is there if you want to because they want to give you that option because they just want to earn your trust back which is awesome uh and then they just go on to describe you know what is what am i getting now for 30 30 bucks well you'll get everything you'll get the whole game uh, you know you'll get cargo run fully unlocked you can play that as much as you want now which was a great change you'll get every single unit in the game which is awesome uh, and you'll get every single unit that's going to come out in the game which is awesome and then they go on to just you know kind of give this little wrap up of 
you know, this game is in early development. They want to make the game with the community, and they want to do that together, and they, they plan to keep keep pushing it forward. Now, there is a full content, content patch out that I will cover in a video in the next few days here, and that patch really dis discusses, like, the major changes to the game, which are drastic. Um, there are some serious gameplay changes to the game, and they're extremely exciting, as well as a new map that came out and a new audio drama that came out. So now there are two audio dramas out, so if you haven't checked those out, do so. Uh, again, I'm, I might sound like I'm being sponsored by this game just because of how much I'm talking about it. Truly not. I just have a great, great respect for what this dev team is doing, and the concept of this game just blows my mind. Now, I might not have played a ton of it right now, and I might not have, you know, grinded a ton and ton and ton of hours, but it's really because it's an early access game. We can paint in the game, we can play the game, but we're not earning ranked. And once ranked comes out and, I, and there's something to play for or, you know, a draft mode or just more things to actually play for, I will 100% be putting more time into this game. But for now, I've really enjoyed just covering the game, watching the growth of the game. And it's been a month and this game has grown more than other games I've covered for years. So kudos to the dev team for this. Uh, if you want more Moonbreaker content, let me hear it in the in the. Uh, description and in the uh, comments below and I'll be sure to bring it to you. Thanks for watching.